When people ask questions, I tend to find it much more interesting to explore the foundations upon which the question is based, rather than trying to answer the question. Because trying to answer the question assumes that you and the person who is asking the question are sharing the exact same understandings of reality, of the world, of language, whatever else, so that you can validly answer the question. And sometimes that's not an unreasonable assumption, but sometimes it is, and then if you start answering what you think the question is, then what the person who asked the question is going to hear is not going to make any sense to them. So, in a case like that, when it is not entirely clear what the person is really asking for, it is worth checking out with them what they are actually asking for. And sometimes this leads to them realizing that they are confused, that they themselves don't actually understand what they're asking for. It's a pity though when that leads to them just clamping up and walking away, which is what happened in my case this time. Um, I forgot his name now, Raw, something or other. Anyway, I'm going to look it up and I'm going to put the link in the underbar. I'm going to respond to his video. Hopefully he will accept it and all that. But he asked the question, what is the benefit of being an atheist? And again, you know, what is he actually asking here? Think about it. What is he actually asking for here? And there are a couple of things that he is basing his question on that he assumes are understood, I would imagine, before he asks the question, and that I don't understand, that I don't necessarily or not necessarily agree with, or I don't necessarily agree with his understanding of what he's actually asking for. So I have to ask these questions now, especially since a little bit further down the video that he posted on, on this, he clarified his position and he, he clarified it a little bit by saying, by expanding on his question and he, he changed it to, if there is no God, then what is the benefit of being an atheist? So, first of all, I could be funny about this. I could be facetious about this and point out, well, if there is no God, that part of the sentence sets the context. So, within the context of the question, there is no God. And then asking what the benefit of being an atheist is, is like asking what could be the benefit of not suffering from a delusion. In the context of the question, I'm not necessarily adopting the Dawkins approach that being a theist is a delusion in normal life, in reality, but in the context of this question, when you lead the question in with if there is no God, then within that context there is no God, and therefore then being a theist is delusional. Sorry. So anyway, so within the context of that question, um, I find the question ridiculous because, you know, surely not suffering from a delusion should ultimately be more beneficial than suffering from a delusion. Even if you could point out that suffering from the delusion leads to a positive outlook of life on life or something like that, I would argue that, okay, if that's the case, what is it that is being triggered that leads to a more positive outlook on life of seeing opportunities when they arise and then how can we tap into this without involving a delusion? Anyway, that's neither here nor there. Like I said, I'm being facetious here. But what is important is that his need to add this to his question, to expand on his question like that, again shows that in his mind, there are a couple of things that are very clear, or he thinks are very clear, that don't need to be explained, but that do. First of all, he thinks that the concept of God is perfectly clear. And it isn't. And that became apparent when I asked him, what is a God? What are you talking about? You are saying, if there is no God, but what, what exactly is a God? What, what is that? What sort of a word is that? What does it mean? And um, he showed his confusion by responding to me by saying that God is his father. Well, I'm pretty sure that my dad, whatever he is, I don't call him God, whatever that is. But anyway, 
And secondly, um, he then started talking about God being a creator, but if God is a creator, then what did God actually create? I'm not entirely sure I can, looking at reality, the universe, whatever else, I'm not sure I can see anything that most definitely, unambiguously and undeniably requires creation. I can't see it, and if you do see it, then feel free to prove at any point in time that this is the case, that there is something out there that requires creation. And if you can prove that, then um, let me know you when you are going to collect your Nobel Prize. Anyway, that's the first thing. So he is himself utterly confused about what the word God actually stands for. And secondly, and this is even more interesting, he doesn't seem to know at all what the phrase being an atheist actually means. And I can be sure about that because I asked him outright, I asked him, what do you mean when you point at somebody and say, that person is an atheist? What does that actually mean, that sentence? What are you conveying there? What meaning are you encapsulating in that sentence? Upon which I received crickets. So that is why it is very important before you start launching into an answer to a question that you understand what the question is or you establish that the person asking the question understands what they're actually asking for. In this case, they clearly don't.